guys, what's up? It's Denise Salcedo with Red Carpet Report, and tonight we are in Hollywood at the Dolby Theater for the CW's Jane the Virgin and Crazy Ex-Girlfriend Paley Fest event. Hi, Gabrielle, nice to meet you. I'm Denise, how are you? Nice to meet you. Gabrielle, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, you look lovely, by the way. So, Gabrielle, I gotta ask you, what did it mean to you to be able to land an opportunity on Crazy Ex-Girlfriend? Such an iconic, fun show. Yeah, I'm so glad you asked me this question, because this job, this show, this character was a dream come true. I was so ready coming from New York City and doing the theater thing there, the Broadway thing there. I was so happy to always be part of the creative side of things, being people's muses, being creative team's muses and like doing new songs and changing and whatnot. But to do that on this scale with this special character was an absolute dream come true. Did you ever think that you were going to make that leap, you know, from the stage to actually being able to incorporate that onto television? I really didn't think I was. I really, I feel like the universe's plans are so much more fun than mine. And um, one big show for me before Crazy Ex-Girlfriend didn't work out on Broadway. And I went in for that audition like 12 times. As much as the crew, the team loved me and I loved them, it just wasn't going to happen. And I let it go and I was like, I know my worth. And if this is not it, then it's going to be something else. And then this happened. So it worked out for the better. Yeah, so life lesson, like we all have to keep relearning is, is like just trust the universe do your work but also like know your worth and let things go if they don't happen and it really did it was really worth it and now you guys also just shot your shows at the Orpheum Theater how was that because I knew Catherine was mentioning you know that what a great way it was for a show to end a season yeah. finale like that so I want to know what was your take on that I again coming from the live theater world I had so much fun being on a stage with the people I love this is my this is my Los Angeles family I I didn't I don't live I didn't live here until Crazy Ex-Girlfriend so this really is my family. So to be able to like celebrate the show, not only with the cast, but also with our three songwriters, Jack Dolgen, Adam Schlesinger, and Rachel Bloom, they were on stage as well. And we were able to like, just let them pick the best version, cut down version of 150 songs. I'm so glad I wasn't in charge of that. that task and we just were able to just really support each other and also sing behind each other be each other's ensemble so we had a really really good time to say the least that's really <laughs> awesome and last question for you I want to know what's next what's after what do you have planned oh there are some projects in the mix I can't really talk about them yet but I have to say this year for being now like a free entity of Hollywood I feel like this year's like my cotillion it's like my coming out party I get to introduce myself to so many new projects whether they turn out for me or not you know I just get to like read some new material going for some dramas going for some other comedies and like try some sketch stuff but I've had a really good time living in Los Angeles my husband and I are very happy here so you're staying in Los Angeles and now gonna go back to New York well never say never New York City is always gonna be that 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 love and hate relationship I love her but she beats me up man but um we don't miss her yet I'll say that you know we would rather have kids here you know like it's just as expensive and there's there's grass here and I'm in a car but I have to say we really fell in love with New York I, I mean with Los Angeles I felt a little guilty about it in the first year and then we accepted it and we planted some roots here and we've enjoyed ourselves immensely we just need to do some like quintessential LA things like maybe the only thing we've done is the PCH I gotta get out there yeah, you I gotta get out there and explore. Oh, yeah. Like the Hollywood sign. <laughs> yes, we haven't done even that yet. Oh my gosh, I, I feel you on that. <laughs> yeah, so now it's time to put some of those things into our plan, into the works, to really enjoy the city. But also, the audition process sometimes feels like the real job, you know, and just being able to present your version of a story that when you walk in a room, they hope that you're it, you know? So it's just, even if it doesn't work out, it's nice to meet new people. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for talking to me today, and congratulations on everything that you were able to do on this show, and I can't wait to see what you're going to do next. It was nice talking to you. Take care, and I'll let you enjoy the rest of your night. Thank you. All right, guys, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more, and in the comments below, let me know what you think about these two shows coming to an end.